Welcome, it's Efenusa57 here. Today I am back on Destiny 2, and I will be showing you how to get the Show Me What You Got achievement. So this is an achievement for basically completing the Call to Arms weekly milestone. Now, uh, it's a little bit buggy about unlocking, so you may have to bear with me. It is a relatively easy milestone to get. Other guides have just touched on it, so I figured I would break it down as best as possible for you. Now, this achievement did not unlock for me the first time I did it, but hopefully after the update, now this will be the third time I've completed it, and it should unlock. Uh, for most players, it has unlocked the first time that they've done it. With that being said, if you open the map, you will see that there is a milestone called Call to Arms. Now, that is the third part of this quest line. There are three parts of this quest line before you will be able to do it. The very first part can be picked up as soon as you get to the farm, which is the very first social area before you get back to the tower. Now, after that, it's going to require you to do two things under destinations. The first step of the quest is going to be in the Crucible, and that is going to be to play two quick play matches. Doesn't matter win or loss. That's very easy to do. And you'll go back, and the second part of the milestone will then be to play two competitive matches. This is more difficult if you don't have a fire team as, well, tryhards. In any case, once you do those first two steps, then the third step of the milestone will unlock. And that is just to earn glory or reputation in the Crucible. Now, I don't know what the exact calculation of it is, but after recent updates, it seems like you should be able to complete that, depending on how good you are, in about three to six games, roughly. And it can be done in either... Quick play or competitive. Quick play is easier, of course, less tryhards, but it is completely up to you however you would like to do it. Kills and assists count towards that percentage. Staying in the match and fully completing the match, win or loss, counts towards that progression. And it seems like, but I could be wrong on it, it seems like you get a couple bonus percent if you do win the match. So play and do your best once that is completed and like i showed you your milestone looks like me return to the tower and go over here to this lord simply turning in the quest and claiming your piece of powerful gear which that's one way you can get a nice piece of gear should go ahead and unlock the achievement for you. I value your opinion. At least that is the way that the achievement is supposed to unlock. Now you will see that it is still locked for me because this game is buggy. It has been unlocked by 47.96% of gamers that have played the game. And I literally just went through all the steps required of you to unlock that achievement. You'll see that the milestone is no longer there. I have my normal clan XP milestone and the raid milestone, but the milestone for that specific call to arms isn't here. Now there's one more step that you can try, and that is to go and play another crucible match after you have already turned in the call to arms. It's just an additional step. Remember that this entire call to arms must be completed in the same week. If you wait till the new week, then all of your progress will reset. So let me uh, equip my piece of gear. I'll play another Crucible match, and then we should be good. At least you will see that I tried to get it to unlock. If all else fails and you do all of these steps mentioned in the guide and do not get the achievement to unlock, then what I would recommend is for you to go to the Destiny forms and make a post because several people, uh, actually 
a good percentage of gamers are having an issue with this achievement unlocking and a couple other achievements like long and winding road which is for reaching level 20 and well as you can see it is also still locked for me even though clearly my character is over level 20 <laughs> um, it's just one of those things so uh, bear with me for a minute I'll get to the end of this crucible match and we will see if the achievement unlocks Show me you can take ground. Hold the zone. Zone B. Zone advantage is yours. You gained the lead. Zone A lost. You captured Zone C. You have advantage. Together as one. I love it. Clarity, a weapons warlock. Your advantage grows. Stay strong. You captured Zone A. That's a power play. You took them. Now hold them.
are dominating the field. Don't let up. Captured zone A. Zone advantage is yours. Three minutes. Hold strong, and this battle is yours. Shut the enemy down! It's time, Guardians! Crush them! I'll show them the true meaning of war. That shut them down. One minute. Won't be long now. seconds stand between you and victory. Alright, so you see there, we did win, um, yeah, maybe I didn't do as great as some players, but that was a pretty good game. And I will go back to Orbit, you will notice that the achievement still has not unlocked for me. So, unfortunately, it's one of those buggy achievements, if you have the same issue that I do, I recommend that you make a post on the forums. The other thing that I've heard a few players talk about is Destiny 1 characters, which this character I did make in Destiny 1, 
are being a bit buggy about unlocking achievements. So if you run into the same issue that I have, just try to bear with it, make a post on the Destiny forums. And as a absolute last resort, you could try making a brand new character, getting it to level 20 and completing the whole call to arms event on that character. Hopefully the guide helped you out. If you have any questions or comments, by all means, leave a comment. Otherwise, make sure you smash the like button and of course, subscribe for more content. So until next time, stay frosty.